Hi, I'm Priyanka Vergadia, and this is AI Simplified, where we learn to make your data useful. In the previous episode, we learned how to create data sets in Vertex AI and trained machine learning model using AutoML. In this video, we help our friends at FuelSymbol build custom machine learning models. Their team of machine learning experts have decided to write their own training code to predict the fuel efficiency of a vehicle. Join me as I walk them through the different ways in which you can run custom training in Vertex AI. And finally, we will kick off our training job in the console and see how it's done. Now, what do we need to create a custom job? Before we submit any of the custom jobs to Vertex AI, we need to create a Python training application or custom container to write the training code and the dependencies. There are pre-built containers to run our code if we write our training application in Python using TensorFlow, Scikit-Learn, XGBoost, or PyTorch. If you are using pre-built containers, then you can just provide the path to the training package in Cloud Storage. You can also build your own custom containers if you wish to. And in that case, you provide a location to the container from your container registry or your artifact registry. If you're not sure whether to use pre-built or custom containers, then check out the link I've included below. In both cases, you would need a folder within cloud storage bucket to put your model output artifacts into. When running custom training jobs on Vertex AI, we can also make use of Vertex's hyperparameter tuning service. If you're not familiar with hyperparameters, they are variables that govern the process of training your model, such as batch size or number of hidden layers in a deep neural network. In hyperparameter tuning jobs, the Vertex AI creates trials of your training job with different sets of hyperparameters and then searches for the best combination of hyperparameters across a series of those trials. Now, to run the training, you need compute resources. It can be either a single node or multiple worker pools for distributed training. This is also the step where you would select the type of machines, the CPUs, the disk size, and the disk type, and the accelerators such as GPUs. And once that training is done, we need the trained model as an endpoint to be served for predictions. In Vertex AI, we can do that by using pre-built containers that are supported runtimes such as TensorFlow, Scikit-Learn, PyTorch. Or you can also build your own custom container that is stored in container registry or artifact registry. Of course, if you just need the model artifacts to be downloaded, then you can skip these steps altogether. Or you can just use the model for batch predictions. Now that we have the basic understanding of our custom training choices, let's help Fuel Symbol train and serve a custom model that predicts the fuel efficiency of a vehicle. We will be using TensorFlow to build this model, and then we'll package our training code in a Docker container. So let's see. In the Google Cloud Console, before we begin, make sure to enable the Vertex AI API, Compute Engine, and Container Registry APIs. In this example, we will use notebooks to create the code for our Docker container. But you can use any environment you like to do this. Create a new notebook instance with the latest version of TensorFlow Enterprise. For this particular demo, I am training without GPUs. But depending on your use case, choose GPUs if you need them. Now that our instance is created, let's open the Jupyter Lab and navigate to the terminal window in our notebook. For the purpose of this demo, we will use the training code that already exists in TensorFlow Docs to predict the fuel efficiency of a vehicle. It uses the auto MPG dataset from Kaggle to predict, and I've included the link below to this page. What we will do here is we submit the training job to Vertex AI by putting our training code in a Docker container and pushing the container to Google Container Registry. Using this approach, we can train a model built with any framework. Now, our first step is to create a Docker file. This Docker file uses one of the deep learning container TensorFlow Enterprise 
Docker images. Now, the deep learning containers on Google Cloud come with many common machine learning and data science frameworks pre-installed. The one we're using here includes TensorFlow Enterprise, Pandas, Scikit-learn, and others. Now, after downloading that image, this Docker file sets up the entry point for our training code. And we haven't created these files yet, but we will do that now. Before that, we need a cloud storage bucket to export our trained TensorFlow model into. Vertex AI will then use this bucket to read our imported model assets and to deploy the model. Now for our model code, let's create a trainer directory and a train.py file. We would add our training code to the train.py file. Here, I have adapted the code from the TensorFlow docs for the model to predict fuel efficiency for the vehicles. Now, if you're interested in using the same code, follow the code lab that's linked below. We need to make sure we update the bucket variable with the name of the storage bucket that we just created earlier. Now, we need to build and test the container locally. Let's run the container within our notebook to see if it is working correctly. Now, it's building now. And now that it is built, let's run this container. There it is, working fine. In a production environment, training will likely take longer, which is why you would want to run it on the cloud. Now, let's see how to do that. Now we push it to Google Container Registry so Vertex AI can access it. With our container pushed to Container Registry, we are now ready to kick off a custom model training job. Now we go to the training in Vertex AI and select No Managed Datasets, since our dataset is being pulled from the source in our model code. Now, Vertex AI gives us two options for training the models. With AutoML, we can train high-quality models with minimal effort and machine learning expertise. And we covered this in our previous episodes, so check them out. Now, here we are using custom training. Give the model a name, and in container settings, we have two options. Now, pre-built containers support PyTorch, Scikit-learn, TensorFlow, and XGBoost. It requires us to package and upload our application code and dependencies to a cloud storage bucket. Now, because we have our own custom container on Google Container Registry, we will select custom container here, which supports not just the common machine learning frameworks, but also non-machine learning dependencies, libraries, and binaries. Now we provide our image URL and our cloud storage bucket, and we will see hyperparameter tuning in later episodes, so let's leave this unchecked for now and continue. In compute and pricing, we set up a standard machine since this model trains quickly, but you're welcome to experiment with larger machine types and GPUs if you like. Just remember that if you use the GPUs, you will need to use a GPU-enabled base container image. The prediction container section is where we specify how we would like to serve our model. Now here we use pre-built containers and we provide the path to our cloud storage bucket. And we're ready for training. We can check to see the training in progress. This could take some time. I have fast forwarded the process here for you. Now that our model is trained, we need to deploy it to an endpoint to make predictions. Now give it a name, and since this is a demo, we will just leave the traffic split at 100% and enter one for minimum number of compute nodes. Depending on the use case, you can set the maximum number of nodes for auto scaling when the traffic on the endpoint is high. I'm selecting a standard machine type here, pick the one that makes sense for your use case, and deploy. Deploying the endpoint will take a few minutes, and when it is done, we can see it in our endpoint tab. Now that our endpoint is deployed, we can start making predictions. We will get predictions on our trained model from a Python notebook using the Vertex AI Python SDK. But you can get predictions from any environment you'd like. So I'm back in our notebook instance and creating a Python 3 notebook from the launcher. Now we install the Vertex AI SDK, 
Then add a cell to import the SDK and create a reference to the endpoint we just deployed. Replace the endpoint and the project ID with our values of the endpoint and project ID. And then finally, we make a prediction to our endpoint with some test data. And there's our predicted value. With that, we've helped our friends at Fuel Symbol train a custom model using Vertex AI. We provided the training code in custom container and used TensorFlow model here. But you can train a model built with any framework using custom containers. Then we deployed the TensorFlow model using pre-built containers. And we finally created a model endpoint and generated a prediction. In the next video, we will build vision model using AutoML. In the meantime, let's continue our discussion in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.